Hello everyone, today we will learn how to add Asana task for new Zendesk tickets. Now Zendesk is a CRM application and Asana is used for project planning and project management. Now if you use Zendesk as a CRM application, you want that every time a new ticket is raised in your account, a new task should be added for that ticket in Asana. But this can't be done automatically because both of these applications do not have a direct connection between them. But let me tell you, we can actually automate this whole process with the help of Fably Connect where our trigger will be new ticket added in Zendesk and our action will be new task added in Asana. Let us learn how to do it. So in this video, we will learn how to create a task in Asana whenever a new ticket is raised in Zendesk. Now in Zendesk, a customer or any person can actually raise a ticket of any problem that person is facing. So that needs to be resolved. And in order to resolve it, a task has to be created in Asana so that the team member know that what are the tasks they need to complete. So we will be doing this and we will be creating this automation with the help of Pabli Connect. As you can see, this is the landing page of Pabli. And on the right hand side, you can see two options, sign up for free and sign in. If you don't have an existing account, you have to click on sign up for free. Because I already have one, I will click on sign in and that will take me to the login page of Pabli where I will just click on sign in with Google and I will reach the window where I can see all the applications provided by Pabli. Because we are going to connect two applications and create an automation, we will be using Pabli Connect. So click on access now and I will be taken to the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Here on the right hand side, a big blue button can be seen where it's written create workflow. Click on that and then enter the name you want to give to your workflow. So we will name it create new tasks in Asana for Zendesk tickets. Click on create and then an empty workflow will be created for you. When you reach this place, you will see two boxes where it's written trigger on one and action on the other. Now, what is a trigger and what is an action? A trigger is when this happens. This is more like an event that will take place in the trigger application. And that event or that trigger that can be called when it takes place, this workflow will move forward in the direction of the action application to perform the action that has been assigned to it through this workflow. Today, our trigger application is Zendex. So we'll be select the application and then the event will be a new ticket. Now comes a webhook URL. Now this is a very important step of this workflow. Why? Because first of all, you can see so many points are written down over here. And these points are to connect our Zendesk account to our Pabli Connect with the help of this webhook URL. So first log in into your Zendesk account. So we will see that yes, we have already logged in over here. Then click on admin in the sidebar and go to admin center. So we will follow all these steps to reach a point where we can paste this webhook URL and then we will connect both of these applications. So now admin and go to admin center. So as you can see on the settings, it's written admin and then we will see over here admin center is written. We will click on admin center and then this window will appear in front of you. When you reach here, you can see the sixth option is apps and integration. So we will click on apps and integration and then we will come down on the left menu and click on webhooks. When you reach here, you can see you have to create a new webhook. So click on create a new webhook and read the two options given in front of you. Now for Zendesk events, you have to subscribe, but we are not talking about events. We are talking about any other trigger that is going to take place. So for trigger or automation, you will select this and on the right bottom corner, there is a next for every step. So pay attention and click on next. Now you have to name your integration. So don't paste the webhook here over here. You have to name it like I am naming it Asana integration. Okay, description is optional. I'm not going to put any description, but you can paste the webhook that you just copied from your Pabli Connect. Okay, and then further, you have to select the request method as post and the request format as 
json because this is the format that is given to us over here okay now this is done and then you have to test the webhook first that is it working or not so click on test webhook and see this is the format in which you want your description to be so click on send test and see the response over here is status success and the message is response accepted so which means that this webhook is working now we click on create webhook and the webhook has been created further we will come down close this window and come to objects and rules here you have to come down to triggers because we have to create a trigger in zendesk itself then you go to the top right corner and click on add trigger keep paying attention to each and every step of this whole process because it's a little complicated but once you get it done it will be easier for you further to work with zendesk now the trigger name so you have to name it a trigger so we can name it as ticket raised description again optional and category has to be notification that now you have to add a condition and the condition is going to be ticket created now when you come down you have to put an action also because once there is a trigger an action will take place so the action will be to notify okay because notification was what we wanted so notify active webhook this is the action and you have to choose the webhook that is asana integration you remember we named the webhook as asana integration so you select it now see all of this is done now it will ask you to paste a sample in which you want your response to be so you go back to public connect and see if to copy this whole format till the last curly bracket copy it from here and paste it here so now this is done see this is the format the ticket id the ticket title description you are like all the details that you will input when you will be raising a ticket will come to you in this format only and then you click on create so see on the right top corner you can see a success trigger is created okay so now our trigger is created now this process is complete over here so this response that we have received is the sample response you remember when we clicked on send test this is that response this is a sample one okay so now you recapture webhook response and go back to zendesk to create a ticket okay so you click on add and over here it's ticket so we will just name the requester so you can put any contact information like i am going to put the email address okay this is the email address who is the assignee who are you going to assign it we are going to assign it to the support now if you want to add any followers of your group you can add or any tags if you want but i'm not adding any the type of the problem for what you are going to raise the ticket is for example let's say a problem is there a issue is there okay and then set the priority to high it's just up to you now what will be subject of the ticket what problem are you facing if you are facing a problem in logging in okay so credentials must be a problem so let's say credentials change okay this is the title and then you have to write the description of your problem so the the credentials of the account has been changed please provide new or updated credentials so this is the description of your ticket and now you click on submit so as you can see there are prior tickets that have been created and the first one is the last that we just created that's written less than a minute ago okay so we have created this we go back to public connect and see our response has been received by public connect this was the title credentials changed the priority we set was high okay the id they have captured on their own the ticket assignee name the email and all the other details have been here and the description don't worry you can just drag this down and see that yes this is the detail of the person who has ever raised the ticket and this is the description that they needed okay now this means that when our response has been captured properly so we can close this window because we received it now we have to decide a destination for this and what is the destination our destination application or action application is asana 
and our action event will be to create a task. Why? Because this is an issue for what the ticket has been raised in Zendesk. And for that, we have to create a task in Asana so as the people or the team who is working in Asana can be updated with the fact that, yes, this is the task and this is the issue they have to resolve. So you click on connect, but before that, make sure that you've opened your Asana account as well in a separate tab. So it will be easier for Pabli Connect to straight away establish a connection between Pabli Connect and your Asana account. So click on connect. Select add new connection, connect with Asana and it will automatically authorize the connection. So it's done over here. Now once the accounts are connected, you scroll down and see that a workspace has been selected. So this workspace is the one you are working upon. But please make sure you cross check it once. You go back to Asana and come to this top right corner where you can see your workspace name, which is the same as what was detected by our Pabli Connect. So now one more important thing is the project ID. What is the project ID? There are three project IDs are given over here. And when you go to your Asana account, you can see there are many project IDs created by you for different departments or for different purposes. So Zendesk tickets is what we want. And in it, the project ID is the resolving task so these here all the tasks will be collected which needs to be resolved which means whenever a ticket will be raised in zendesk it will be creating a task in this project only so you go back to public connect and select resolving task okay now what was the task name so you remember we gave a title to our ticket that is the task name now how are we going to enter that name what if you do it manually right here, every time a ticket or a task will be added in Asana. So in that case, all the tasks will have the same name because you entered it manually. But we are going to do mapping over here. So what is mapping? Mapping is actually creating a pathway of between both these applications by Pabli Connect only. So whatever response you received over here has to be given the right path. So as the correct information reaches the correct place. So the task name, for example, over here, the title is credentials changed. This is the task name. Okay, so we will put this credentials changed title over here. And how are we going to do that with the help of this drop down menu? As you can see, it's written insert data from previous step. So you click on this drop down menu and it will give you all the list of the responses you just received. And here in the second place only, you can see the title. So you mapped the title and every new ticket which is generated, the title of that ticket will automatically be filled in this field where you need to put the task name. Okay, then comes the notes. So notes is all the detail that you want for that person, whosoever has asked the detail or we can just put the description over here. So again, click on the drop down menu. So you choose the description that this is the description. Then you can put a slash and N to say what is the priority. Okay, so type priority colon and then mark the priority that is high priority. Is there anything else that you want to put? You can put the group name also that who is supposed to do this work. Okay, the group whosoever the task is assigned to. So you can just put group colon again and then map this that support group is supposed to check over this task. Now your notes are done. No due date or due one because we did not enter any kind of date while generating a ticket in Asana. The assignee is admin Pabli. That's already there because that's how the account is working. Okay. And then no tag or follower we entered. You remember that part. So we are going to leave this field empty. We will just click on save and send test request and wait for the response by the action application. And see, the action application has given the response. First of all, check for any error. If there is no error, then you can check all the details, whatever you entered. Since it shows no error, see, this is the ID, the project ID. It's a project type because obviously in Asana, this is the project that we have created. The name is resolving task. And then the, the data was like credentials change was the title. And then it's a task, workspace and all the description details what which is the list name the list name is to do see we did not pay attention earlier but it has captured everything so some things that you don't need to pay attention Pabli connect will take care of all of that and then the assignee name is also here so we will just click on save that yes our workflow went well till here 
until we go back to asana and check that whether a task has been created or not when you come here you can see a credentials changed name has been here so you open it and see we created this task just now this is the name this is the assignee and this is the description the credentials of the account has been changed please provide new or updated credentials this was the description we entered we set the priority and the group as support as well so all the details that we entered in pably connect while doing the mapping has been successfully captured over here and transferred to the action application that was asana so let us do a quick recap of whole workflow so as to check that what we did in this video so our workflow was of just two steps trigger and action our trigger was zendesk and the event was new ticket generated and the action was asana and the action event was to create a task as soon as a new ticket is generated asana will create a new task for that specific ticket the important parts was to connect both the accounts using this webhook url this whole process a little lengthy but it will be easier when you do it later response is captured and then the mapping part was an important part we mapped the name the notes and everything and then clicked on save and send test request again a response was received without any error we clicked on save and checked that yes a task has been created in asana because of the ticket that was raised in zendesk so this was the whole video i hope this helps not just these applications but you can integrate many other applications using pably connect if you have any issue regarding pably you can email us at support@pably.com you can ask your queries at forum.pably.com and if you have any doubts regarding our pricing then you can connect us through this given website if you found this video helpful in any way then make sure to share this with your friends and colleagues to make their life easier by creating automations we will meet in the next video till then do not forget to like our video and subscribe to our channel thank you